I'm your main man, Mal, and this is my chickpea curry. What's good everybody, it's your main man Mal here and today I'm going to be showing you guys a nice, easy, one-pot chickpea curry recipe. This dish is something that I use as one of my staples. It's an all-in-one recipe, it's quick, it's easy, and it's delicious. If you guys like these videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and comment what you'd like to see me make next. So let's get right into it. So what I love about this recipe is that you can really make it your own. Today, what I'm going to be using is some sweet potato, a little bit of parsley, some cauliflower, peppers and onions, and we're gonna top it all off with some plants and on the side. Obviously our base is gonna be chickpeas. So first things first, we just wanna cut up these sweet potatoes and get them into some boiling water. So let's get these in this hot water. We're gonna let these boil until they're nice and tender. While the sweet potatoes are boiling, we can process the rest of our vegetables and get them ready to go into the curry. So our potatoes have been simmering for a few minutes now and they can take a little bit longer or less depending on how thick you cut them, but they're nice and soft. So we have to strain these out and start to build the rest of our curry. So now we can start to build our curry. First, we can get our pan on a medium high heat and we're gonna go in with about a half cup of coconut oil and just let that coat the bottom of the pan and melt down. And while the coconut oil it's melting down, we can start to build our curry paste. So we can go in with about one to two tablespoons of each of these seasonings to build your own curry. So we can go in with some turmeric, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, a bit of cayenne for some heat, some cumin, and some allspice. Now we let that simmer with the oil until it combines a nice paste. Can't forget salt. And while those flavors are incorporating together, we can add in some of our vegetables. We saute these around with the oil and our curry paste so the vegetables can absorb all that flavor. You can cook this until the cauliflower becomes nice and soft. And to help that process, you can cover it up and let it steam. All right, once our Vegetables are nice and sauteed and soft. We can add in our chickpeas, as well as our sweet potato. All right, after these ingredients have been incorporated into the curry paste, we can add what will give it the creamy element, which is some coconut milk. Enough to almost cover it, but just below. Let this simmer for a few minutes. It'll cook down, thicken up. That'll be our curry. And while our curry's on simmer and cooking down and getting nice and thick, we can make our side of plantain. So we got some oil heating up in the pan here. And we're just gonna cut this up and get this ready to fry. So you see our curry has gotten nice and thick here. You can cook it down a little bit longer if you want it thicker or less if you want it a little bit thinner. Now we're ready to plate up. All right guys, that's the recipe. A nice, simple, one-pot meal that you can make any night of the week and enjoy for yourselves. I'll have the instructions and ingredients listed below in the description, and you can try it out and let me know how you like it. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, at MalReggie. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.